All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. So um, yeah, I don't want to take up too much time so let's get right into it today we're gonna be working on the the uh dual text right over here so we have the cyber all right so a uh, quick little announcement we have added a ton more new products to the store as you can see we have these icons and also the robbery simulator uh logo psc as well as the tapping champions also don't forget if you use the code youtube in all caps you get 15 percent off of all orders so uh yeah Go ahead, check it out, see what products you like, and uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. So yeah, let's start off, um, and uh, the font is called Ethnocentric, right over here. Let's drag it up, and um, let me think about how we should do this. Okay, so right click, go into blending options, and we're going to go gradients overlay, most on uh, normal, angle is going to be 90, and I'm um, going to go... Select this color, and for the second color, we're gonna select this blue. All right, and uh, we can use scale, as you can see, and uh, also drag this thing. All right. Now I'm gonna go to inner glow. I'm gonna drag my choke all the way up, normal opacity, and something like this. All right lower this just a little bit now I'm gonna right click go to convert to smart objects and make a new layer right click create a clipping mask go pencil color is gonna be on black and uh, I'm just gonna make these uh, this shape right over here so just click all right once you have that we're just going to lower the opacity then we're gonna hold alt and we're just gonna drag right here Control T to resize and we're just going to scale it right over here right and move this one under and we're going to lower the opacity all right um that's pretty much it for the top part actually um I probably should have aligned this better dual I just realized that I typed out dual without the S. Oh, that's funny. Alright. Whatever. Alright, so save. Good thing we have the smart objects so we could edit um, really easily. Alright. Now, let's go ahead and try to match it up. Alright, so we have the dual sex and now we're just going to hold alt, drag, to make a copy, and um, yeah, and drag this down. Going to right click, blending options, we're going to go into color overlay, select this color or um, any color of your choosing. Right, and the process begins again where you make a new layer, you go to your pencil, and we're just going to connect all these points. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. There we go. We got the S part. And then we got so the top part. Alright. And we have the letter D. Alright, let's get to me. And now we want to take everything. Hold shift click control E. New layer. Um, clipping mask. Use our uh, brush tool color is going to be on black and let me figure out how we should do this um so um so the more inner areas like here there's going to be shadow and uh, it gets lighter towards the bottom so something like that over here it's going to be darker here as well and right here it's going to be lighter so that's nice we're going to make this into overlay there we go 
new layer, clipped, same thing. Uh, I use a shortcut, just right click and go clipping mask. All right, and now I'm just going to do that for the rest of these text right here. So the inside areas will be darker as opposed to um, the outside area. So also from here, what you could do is you could use your marquee tool like we did last time, just erase like that. All right. And we could also just use our eraser tool and blend this out. There we go. All right, looks good to me. Uh, let's go overlay. Right, and we're just going to finish for the rest of our text. Alright, overlay. And now we have our finished dual text, as you can see. Actually, I forgot one thing. New layer. Uh, these little highlight things, so. We're gonna wanna add that as well. Let's go right here, go to the very bottom, and we're just going to kind of this. Um, <laughs> it's not the best, but I guess it works. Yeah. So, soft brush and hard brush, like that. I'm just gonna do that for these as well. Right there. Soft brush. All right, whatever. That's uh, that's pretty good. All right. It's cool. We're gonna make this into. I want to say screen. Yeah, I'm just going to make make it like that. Alright, uh, looks good to me. I'm gonna do something five for the opacity. Now we're gonna take everything, group it all up, control G, control J to copy and make the copy a smart object. So now we got dual text and we also got the cyber text. Now we got two of these. As you can see, let me match these up. There we go. And uh, yeah, this is what we got so far. It looks uh looks pretty good to me but uh, yeah that's going to be it for this video if you enjoyed make sure to leave a like um it really helps us you know show support but uh yeah with all that being said i will see you all in the next video